Anderson from the great state of Michigan. He's also a U.S. Senate candidate and fellow military combat vet, John James. As you can see, he's joining us from uh, Pete's location there in uh, the Detroit area. John, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Uh, doing okay. Uh, thanks very much for getting up early. What did you make of uh, Tulsi Gabbard talking about how uh, President Trump supports Al Qaeda? Getting up early, I, I was up for a run at five o'clock this morning. I, uh, I'm a combat vet, and I understand uh, what it takes to stay fit and uh, take the fight to people who need it. And the people who need it are people like Al Qaeda, people like ISIS, uh, people uh, all over the world who would hurt and kill Americans. And I think that uh, that Tulsi Gabbard's uh, accusation that the president of the United States, the commander in chief, the person who's done everything he can to keep us safe all around the world, is now co uh, colluding with Al Qaeda, uh, is absolutely uh, inflammatory, absolutely inappropriate. Appropriate, absolutely wrong. Uh, previous administrations actually have uh, given money to regimes that have supported Al Qaeda to the tune of $150 billion to a country like Iran right. who say they want to see death to America and death to Israel. That is supporting the types of regimes that we cannot have. And we need to have somebody on the floor of the U.S. Senate who understands what it takes to keep us safe. And it's not enabling uh, these regimes like Iran to, uh, to continue to threaten uh, the United States and the world and destabilize the Middle East. Well,